Hamza Farooqi and Salim S's Fado Span has filed court papers calling on Finance Minister Pravin Gordon to either put up or shut up on the acquisition of Habib Bank. The urgent applications come up for hearing in the North Gauteng High Court today. Fado Span says if the acquisition of Habib Bank by Fado Span once was to compete, it would bring new competition to a sector dominated by the big five banks and prioritize the provision of desperately needed loans to SMM. Ease, the entrop and entrepreneurs. Uh, the application by Fado Span to acquire Habib Bank was submitted in August 2016 and was approved by the Competition Commission on the 13th of January 2017. Approval from the Finance Minister and the Reserve Bank are now the only barriers preventing the completion of this transformative acquisition. Fado Span says that seven months have passed since the formal application which the company's lawyers argue constitutes an unreasonable delay when time is of the essence in the success of this small transaction. We are unable to give guidance to foreign investors. They've been in the country for the last 22 years. They want to exit. Um, and the regulator has dragged their heels uh, on a process which, again, should be fairly simple. Again, this is not a big bank. It's a small bank. It's, a, it's, it's probably one of the smallest banks. And the bank is pretty much coming home. It's coming back to South African ownership. You know, it's coming back to ownership which, you know, you know the regulator should have Comfort, you know, if anything else. In, you know, Salim, in my mind, it's a very simple banking transaction. It's been a foreign owned bank. We are coming across as two young black entrepreneurs who are acquiring this bank, who want to turn this bank around, and who want to create a challenger bank in South Africa, which we sorely need. There's something called a long stop date, yeah. uh, which by by a certain date that the transaction has to complete. Yeah. That date in the case of uh, this bank with the seller of this bank is 31st March. We unfortunately haven't heard or received regulatory approval and we need to receive that regulatory approval by 31st March. Uh, this was a long stop date which was in place for a while. Uh, and because of that, we now need to go to court to urge the regulator uh, and to use the courts to urge the regulator to give us some guidance on where this process sits. So does South Africa need a black bank? ANN7 looks at the reasons for it. To counter the monopoly of the big five banks, give South African startups and SMMEs an alternative for financial security. It will prioritize the provision of desperately needed loans to SMEs and entrepreneurs. And lastly, to facilitate a smooth transformational transition for black South Africans.